Okay, we're going to do the towns view now for the TMJs, uh, and this is supposed to get the, the junction between the condyles and the fossa. Um, the only difference between this is normally a towns view for most everything we've been doing is 30 degrees uh, caudal. Now we're going to do a 35 degree angle instead, um, and that's just to open up that joint space a little bit more. Uh, we're still going to have the OML perpendicular to the image receptor. Um, we're going to do this AP. And with TMJs, typically you do an open mouth and closed mouth view just to see uh, the separation in the joint there. Um, and you're looking for congruency. Um, so let's get our patient ready here. He's already sitting here. Let me have you drop your chin. We're going to get this OML perpendicular. Drop it a little more. A little bit more. A little more. There we go. Perfect. And I'm going to center right through the TMJs here. If you ever have trouble finding them, you can put your finger right in front of the EAM and have the patient open and close their mouth. Go ahead and do that. And you can really feel it right there. Uh, so that's how you're going to find it if you're not sure. I'm going to correct for tilt here. Turn this way and then slide over this way just a little. There we go. And then all we need to do is line up our bucky. And then recollimate, of course. If you can notice, my marker is outside of, of where the uh, condyle would be. Just be really careful. You want to have it towards the edge of your light field. And then take on suspended respiration. Again, you're going to do an open mouth and a closed mouth view. 